from the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable faithful. <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha de Deon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fey are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two of us are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. Think this one is that Alpha, Baran, could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is, dead's dead. And be thankful for that, all we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. of him. You know how you can tell. Turn him over. See if there's a stick in his ass. All right then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him. I think we're done. Put him with the others. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time.
run! Scatter, children of dust! Scatter before the might of the Tuatha! Stay away! Help! Anybody! You! Up there! Please help me! Please! More mortal scum? No matter. We'll all die. Come along. Wait. I've seen you before. On the slab. You. You were dead. It worked. By the dome, it worked. You're alive. No, no. Clearly not. Not anymore. But you were. The Well of Souls remade your body. We thought you were another failure. What? The well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Oh, no doubt, but we must get to Hughes. He'll be in his study on the ground floor. The Tuatha are coming in through the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now let's get going. He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. And safe. Let me get this door. Right this way. Uh, you go first. This is what they're after. Our greatest invention. The Well of Souls. Imagine an end to war. An end to death. Time to waste! Move! Move! We're in one of the storerooms. See if you can find anything useful. Wait! 
Do you hear something? Just that sword. That one had a bow. Get it? up ahead. Best shoot them before they see us. are deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more... than makes up for their size. More up ahead! If you can sneak up on them with your daggers, you should be able to finish them quickly and quietly! Blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you <laughs> than it seems incredible. What are you?
completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you could use that staff to burn a path through. Not more spiders. Burn them. Burn them. <laughs> Nothing protects quite like layers of impervious metal. Leather armor is thin, but will give you the speed to reach an enemy. Simple cloth frees your body and mind. This is where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawatha here. I suppose these might be able to help if the Tawatha realize what you are. You'll need them. directly ahead in his study. Just keep going past the top of the well. He needs to see you. Right now, you're the most valuable thing in his world. I'll see you on the outside, if fate wills it.
You've made it! And look at you! Even with all you've been through. The Tuatha, your return from the dead... Please forgive me, you must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alistar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing, the Well of Souls, the pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. Too much to explain right now. The Tuatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Yes, yes, you're right. I, I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... You're... Wait, fascinating. Where are you going? Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow. Uh, yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what. Perhaps I should go see. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the Tuatha have breached the lab. That inside the lab. <laughs> No! We've got to get you out of here now! Quickly! Follow the path to the town of Warheart. Find Agar. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! <laughs> <laughs> Tear this tower apart! Mm -hmm. 